up everyone? Uh, we're sitting here waiting in line to get into clean culture. Um, I'm a little upset I didn't have the camera on me for the rest of the time I was at um, Toyota Fest because a V12 Toyota Century actually pulled up. <clears throat> so that was really cool to see. Um, I also got to sit in it, which the second I sat in that car, like my back pain went away. But yeah. I'll, uh, I'll update you guys once we get inside and uh, get all set up. So I'll see you guys in a little bit. Made it in. Presta got her uh, little parking spot, made it look all good. Got the uh, night seal skateboard deck and a couple other little bunny girl senpai stuff. Um, yeah, I was thinking about bringing more bunny girl stuff to put in, but I thought it would have been too much. So. I don't know, maybe next one. The next one I'll bring a few more little things. Um, but at that point, the car will hopefully be completely different. Um, Josh from Out of Love is over here also, so that's cool. Kind of just hanging out for the time being until the show actually starts. Probably gonna go walk around, see what's inside. But yeah, we'll do uh, another walk around with you guys and, uh, once the show starts. Alright, what's up everyone? We're gonna try to make our walk around to the inside. Start off with this really clean, beam swapped Corolla GTS. Really like the wheels. I know mean, what you guys think if I uh, should maybe put these on the Cressida. But, yeah. Uh, what I believe is an S14.5. Which, if you guys don't know what that is, it's, well, it's more of a 9, but I believe this is an S14 with S15 panels, so it's got the S15 taillights, fenders, um, and headlights. This thing is really cool. And then Forrest Wang's drift car. Gonna start off by going this way. Um, the other side is more of just supercars and stuff, but yeah. Another S14.9. This thing's cool. It's a uh, SR20 with a sequential in it. And then we've seen this before. 260 RS. Stagia. Yeah. There's some uh, cool stuff in here. Homeboys. Uh, Levin Coupe. It's got flares. And a slammed C5. Like, slam, slam. I don't know how well you guys can hear me in here, but yeah. It's pretty chill. Pretty chill show. Um, Cars here are kind of kind of add to me, but I'm not into. I'm not really into like Scion FRS or GT86. <laughs> yeah. Um, if this clip ends up being not great because you guys can't hear me, apologize for that in the uh, in advance. Um, also, hopefully. This video doesn't get doesn't get demonetized for the music that they're playing in the background here. Um, yeah, there isn't really anything cool that way, so we'll go ahead and head back outside and check out what we have. Yeah. Got this super cool Z. L series. Really nice metal work. The whole kit on this is metal. Um, Michael Laurie's Cressida, this six soar. And then Francis, this one's for you. It's got a Porsche V6 in it. It's a old Volkswagen Corrado. Wow, just noticed this, forged carbon spoiler. 
Yeah, I'm not usually not too much into Euros, but that's, Corrados are nice. Corrados are nice and really cool. Um, yeah, I'll uh, definitely pick up the camera more if there's something that stands out to me, but so far, everything's kind of eh. It's your standard car show, a lot of Subarus and Subarus and Volkswagens. That's uh, that's what we got. What's up, guys? It's been a couple hours. Um, it looks like they're about to start some low car limbo thing, so we'll film that. Um, I'm really curious of how this works. This is the first time I've seen this. But yeah, I'm feeling extremely tired. Putting back seats back in uh, back in the Crescent Oak may or may not have been a good idea because I sat back there and I almost just turned on a YouTube video and I almost went to sleep but yeah let's uh, cross your fingers that we win an award or something because that'd be really really cool um, I'm also excited to see the pictures that uh, everyone's taken of my car over the past up just over clean culture and Toyota fest to see because it's always cool to see different styles of photography and stuff like that. But I'm gonna stop rambling. Um, I'll go back to you guys when they start this low car limbo thing. All right, uh, what's up everyone? Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and outro our little clean culture event. Probably not gonna go to that one again. It, uh, I got pretty bored and was ready to leave not long after I got there actually. There wasn't much to do. And then the whole award thing from what I could tell my point of view, you pretty much had to dump ridiculous amounts of money into a car and be some kind of social influencer or um, an event sponsor to get an award. Um, it's pretty bad when every other award, every other car getting an award is either a brand new Toyota Supra or a Lamborghini. So yeah, that was, a little uh little irritating that no one from the uh like the community cars really got an award which you know oh you could say that you know community cars usually aren't that good but there were there were a lot of like really cool builds that were out there in like the normal parking the normal show parking that didn't get to park inside that you could tell that they put you know time energy and whatever money they could into putting together a nice car but yeah um the Cressida did awesome I mean she always always does made it home safe and sound last night I do need to wire up my fog lights because I could barely see anything with my headlights um but yeah um other than that Toyota Fest super fun I should have just stayed at that one and didn't even not even bother with clean culture you know it's bad and i get bored when i ended up taking a nap in the back seat of the cressida yesterday um during the show so but yeah um did get the new headlight so no more crusty passenger side headlight so we'll maybe do that this week uh, i do need to do an oil change on it and then next weekend we're probably gonna pull the glass out of the parts car i need to pull the doors off still and a couple other little things um i'm not sure if i'm gonna film a video for today film what i'm doing today because it's just gonna be a lot of little things i'm gonna be doing chores and catching up on stuff but probably gonna wash the camry since it's in a good spot the weather's nice and then i need to pull the wiring harness off of that engine and start figuring out what i can ship what needs to be shipped out and just parts people have been asking about um but with that being said, um, thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoy the video or videos. It might turn into two, um, depending on how much I have filmed for both events. But I will see, talk to you guys in the next video.